Continuing on now, President Donald Trump moving forward with his campaign promise to build a wall along the United States southern border with Mexico. The president taking the first steps by signing an executive order to start construction. And not even a week in office, and the president is moving aggressively on several immigration controls. First the border wall, then blocking federal grants from immigrants uh, protecting sanctuary cities. Funding is still kind of murky. The president has promised Mexico would pay for the wall, now saying the U.S. will cover the initial costs and then be reimbursed. He also called for the hiring of 5,000 border officers and an increase in deportations of undocumented immigrants. President Trump spoke just hours ago at the Department of Homeland Security. A nation without borders is not a nation. Beginning today, the United States of America gets back control of its borders, gets back its borders. President Trump's tough talk on immigration is raising concerns now on college campuses and agencies charged with caring for them. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live on the Xavier campus right now with how it's playing out there. Tom? Well, here's an interesting fact. There are 700,000 U.S. college students at schools like Xavier across the country attending those schools in a program called DACA. That's Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival. It was created by President Obama for undocumented, undocumented students who've lived their lives lawfully the entire time. President Trump has vowed to do away with it, and that's creating quite a bit of concern here on campus. Jose Cabrera was four when his mother crossed the border from Mexico with him to start a new life. He's now a Xavier junior working on a double major. It seems as if you entered like a whole new world. The language is different, the, the ideas are different, uh, and the way of life is different. Even though he's undocumented, Cabrera is a musketeer because of DACA, the program for children living in the U.S. most of their lives. He hopes President Trump won't take it away. It makes you feel like a second-class citizen. It makes you feel like that um, at any moment, your whole future, your hard work um, could just be thrown away in the trash. Catholic Charities of Southwestern Ohio includes Sukasa and other services for immigrants and refugees. CEO Ted Berg says they're vulnerable and in need of a new home in a new country. We believe that we should be serving the vulnerable, protecting the vulnerable, and assisting them in their quest to have a better life. Getting tougher on them isn't something the agency wants to see. Immigrants create jobs. Immigrants contribute to the econ economy of the, co of the country. And so these individuals have started businesses. They've made a life. They're doing work that's not been done by others and they're improving the economy. Then there's President Trump's plan for the wall between the U.S. and Mexico. Cabrera says welcoming immigrants would be better than building fences. It, it's showing that we are not welcome um, and it's just creating a divide that, um, you know, if you're not American, if you're not Anglo, if you don't speak English, that you're not welcome here. One interesting note about Cabrera, he's got a job working to help other immigrants who've come to Cincinnati. And all this comes as Cincinnati is implementing a long-term strategy to welcome immigrants to the Queen City. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live on Xavier's campus in Evanston. 